everybody i've got my buddy jonathan stout over here and this guy really knows what to do with an acoustic arch top you know playing that 30s and 40s stuff he plays it so authentically that uh you know i just would like to bring you some more videos of him playing tell us about some of the stuff that you've been doing lately too uh well we were just on the bachelor uh about a couple months ago and uh we did a, a session for barry manilow and uh, we just mostly play for swing dancers. So we fly out a couple times a year to all the different big swing dance events. Cool, there's a guy who comes in here, I forgot what his name is, but he is like a swing dance guy and he's, he follows all that stuff all over the country, you know. So. Yeah, those are our people. There you go. Well, play a little something for us. Let's give him a taste. So, you know, tell me, uh, Jonathan's playing, this is a 1929 16-inch L5. All the old timers, they like those 16-inch L5s. Why? They, they, they just have a clarity and a punch that you, you don't get from, when they tried to make the, the, the 30s Gibsons bigger, they didn't make them louder necessarily, they made them fuller. And these really cut through a band, and I'm lucky enough to have gotten my own 16-inch L5 from, from Mr. Norm. This one's uh, about a... A couple I serial think this numbers lower. Twenty nine. Yeah. yeah. And so you know these guitars are really cool. I just remember when I first started doing this, all the old timers they all had these sixteen inch L fives, and then they went to the advanced model, which is a seventeen inch, and of course there's a Super four hundred, which is eighteen, and then there's even Stromberg four hundreds, which are nineteen inch. So, but these just have a certain tone and clarity that uh, everybody seems to love. And one of the things you can't beat about Norms is I've played two S Stromberg Super 400s here at the same time. I, when I picked out my L5, I picked it out of five different 16-inch L5s that they had in stock. So I can't think of another guitar store on the planet that's going to have that many guitars in. I didn't pay him to say this, but he's a good guy. But it is the truth. We do have a lot of other stuff that's not even showing here. So, you know, being able to choose from a few, you know you're getting something good. But I always love hearing somebody who really knows what he can do with, uh, you know, with the model that they choose. So, um, Jonathan Stout, thank you so much for coming in. As my pleasure. always, thank I'm going to bug you every time you come in to do a video. Not my pleasure. Thank you so much. All right, buddy. Jonathan Stout.